Confidentiality is a cornerstone of the Family Service Agency of Burbank, or FSA. Although the FSA clients you will see in this video agreed to be interviewed, their names will not be revealed. Some individuals requested that level of anonymity, others did not. The producers have chosen to name only the FSA staff members who were interviewed for and appear in this video. So, um, I hate to have to report this. The breaking news just into CNN is that actor Robin Williams is dead at the age of 63 from an apparent suicide. And as we continue to learn more about their relationship, today's tragedy is opening discussions about domestic violence. A Tennessee man is charged with child abuse and domestic violence after he allegedly threw his seventh-month-old son at his girlfriend. It's not hard to miss high-profile domestic violence in America. Celebrities and athletes in trouble. Violence, suicides, and accidental drug overdoses as people suffer in silence. But you don't have to be famous to have problems or seek help. One in four Americans has a mental health issue that can be diagnosed. And I was just having issues in high school and a little bit in college. And, you know, I just was not happy. I was dealing with depression and anxiety and anger and, you know, just, just fear, basically, of the world. I was bullied a lot. Um, I didn't fit in. Um, I, uh, I was different than everybody else. One in 10 children has experienced child abuse. 75% of domestic violence cases go unreported. Verbal, physical, mental abusing. Um, I decide after he led me as a monster, after he beat me up, um, to leave the house and take my three boys with me. Does anyone really want to talk about these topics? For the most part, no, even though more and more people say that needs to change. I think the fact that we're talking about mental health and the fact that this community 50-something years ago was talking about it and actually did something about it um, when it's just becoming the national conversation, part of our national conversation is incredible to me. For more than 60 years, the Family Service Agency of Burbank has been a place to talk, privately, to train professionals, to each other, to help, to make better, to cure. Especially in the last two, three years, the issues of suicidal ideations and attempts, um, depression, families are fragmented, um, parents don't know what to do. People are isolated, students are isolated. There's just a lot of stuff happening. It's getting, it's, it's getting more critical. Nearly half of married couples who find their relationships in distress show significant improvement after 26 therapy sessions. The Family Service Agency of Burbank, or FSA, has quietly been there for the individuals, the couples, and the families of Burbank, so their voices can be heard. Silence has never been a solution. The issues that come through family service touch everybody's lives, directly or indirectly. FSA provides more than 60 counselors in 18 Burbank public schools, offering help to more than 1,000 students annually. A lot of stuff that goes on with teens, they don't tell anybody. They don't. Parents, they don't tell anybody. Some problems started, I was like, I don't know, I didn't really like the people because um, people can be negative and I guess I was very like, I don't know, I put myself out there and um, kind of got hurt. Would you rather a student learn to self-medicate or would you rather a student learn to talk to somebody? And again, we're providing them that option in the Burbank Unified School District through this partnership. So that's why it's valuable to, to engage young people because at the end of the day, it's their choice and we want them to be equipped to make healthy choices. So they got suspended like the first week of sixth grade for like hitting someone because they got me mad. So yeah, so like it helped me like calm myself more down. So like I know more than just to like let my anger out, to like, you know, just calm myself down. Are you having drug issues? Is your boyfriend hitting you? Are you in a gang and you can't, you know, whatever. It's like they take the time to talk to you. But like I talk a lot because I like talking. So I was like talking a lot with her. I got really close with her. Like I like talking to her and I would always like, whenever she would come, I'd be so happy. Like I would just be waiting until she would come. And when she would be going, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's finally here. 
So yeah, I like seeing her a lot. <laughs> I always felt like stuck in one place. My counselor suggested art therapy. It could be anything, because uh, she used to tell me art is never wrong. She kind of helped me express myself and find out who like I can really be. FSA has been there for the mental wellness of the community through counseling. We're looking at mental wellness, not, not mental illness. We're looking at preventative medicine. FSA has prevented escalation by protecting children and adults so that irreparable harm was avoided. They actually provided therapy for my kids too, for my older kids. So that was amazing. It helped them so much understand what happened and how and why mommy left and that things aren't it's not the end of the world if mommy and daddy aren't in one household it's tremendously turned my life around coming here it made a big difference for me and my kids fsa has prevented escalation by protecting children and adults so that irreparable harm was avoided the guilt they put inside of you makes you stay longer and it makes it drag out years and years and years even though in the back of your head you're done and you're worn out but it's harder to leave when you're held up in your own home in jail like you're you can't leave there's no way out There's also Linden House, completed in 2011 to help assist 18 to 24-year-old emancipated and homeless youths with transitional housing. Nothing like that had ever been available in Burbank. FSA has given hope to those young people and to many others. An emergency shelter is usually 30 to 45 days. A transitional shelter is usually a year, perhaps 18 months. Um, and FSA's program is three years. It was designed that way to really allow a time for um, a family to be able to get settled and heal and feel safe and all those kind of things and then work on self-sufficiency um, goals, whatever those may be, so that by the time they leave they are really stable again so that we don't want them going back um, into a bad situation. It was tough, you know, it was hard, but when I came to the agency, they, they helped me, not only with counseling, but um, with support with my children. I have three boys. They offered me a shelter for three years. Even my boys have the best memories, three years in that house. Um, it was amazing. <laughs> Sorry. There can be transformation. There can be recovery. There can be a cure. All you need to do is take that first step. A man stands in the doorway like a small child, angry fists. She lies in her bed, her head buried in her pillow, and she stares at the moon. I don't know where I would be, honestly, without family service. I, I really don't know where I would be. I don't think I would have survived through all of that. Let's just put it that way. As soon as I graduated, I was just like, I'm ready. You know, I didn't procrastinate. I didn't, you know, go back to like doing stupid things and hanging around with bad crowds. I was like, this is it. The people that are closest to our kids and closest to our families keep returning and getting the care and keep referring that next student or that next adult telling their friend, uh, I went to FSA and that helped. After I left him, I came here for support for the domestic violence group support they offer here and for the therapy to get back my life, to get back confidence and everything that was taken away from me. We took a leadership position on this issue many years ago for a reason, because we knew that it would have a significant impact. Since then we've seen the shootings in Aurora, Colorado, uh, Sandy Hook Elementary School. We've seen situations where mental health has been splashed up on the front pages of newspapers and for the worst reasons possible because we, we never got to them and we never worked with them. We have 
for the past 10 years been saving lives with this program. And we're going to continue, past 15 years, so we're going to continue to save those lives. And we're going to continue to look at, in the school district, how we can continue to work with FSA as a partner so that we can save these lives. Um, you can't quantify it. That's what's really tough. Because, just like I said before, it's the unseen work that's often the best. And, and Family Service Agency is ethical and effective at, at getting that work done. And, and that's what we respect the most about that.